Good morning, everyone. Welcome to St. Francis of Assisi. This is the American National Catholic Church. And if you are new here, what that means is we bar nobody from the communion table. If you are a divorced Catholic, if you have not been to confession, if you are a member of the LGBTQ community, that is not a big deal in this church. We have settled that matter and everybody comes to the table. We don't ask anybody to sit there and watch us eat. Our song this morning, as we enter and begin our worship, is on your song sheet. It's called, This Is The Day. Would you all please stand as you're able. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, our God is good, whose love endures forever. Let all the children of Israel say, God's love endures forever. This is the day, this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of God has struck with power. The right hand of God is exalted. I shall not die, but I shall live and proclaim the works of the Lord. This is the day this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice, let us rejoice, let us rejoice and be glad. Let us rejoice and be glad. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Welcome to St. Francis. It's the second Sunday of Easter. And this is my first Mass here. I just thought I would mention that. <laughs> because if I seem extremely nervous, I am. Thank you. So, thank you. Let us take a moment and, and think of our own failings and our shortcomings as we prepare to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned through my own fault. In my thoughts and in my words, what I have done and in what I have failed to do. And I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us sing praise, honor, and glory to our Father. Give glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Give glory to God in the highest, 
to God's people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Give glory to God in the highest, and peace to God's people on earth. Lord, Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy. Upon us, you are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. Give glory to God in the highest. And be to God's people on earth. You alone are the Holy With the Holy Spirit in the glory of God the Father. Give glory to God in the highest and peace to God's people on earth. Give glory. God of everlasting mercy, each year when the Feast of Easter returns, you enliven the faith of your holy people. Increase in us the grace you have already bestowed that we may understand more fully in whose font we have been washed, in whose spirit we have been reborn, and in whose blood we have found redemption. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. reading from the Acts of the Apostles. A whole group of those who believed were of one heart and soul, and no one claimed private ownership of any possessions. But everything they owned was held in common. With great power, the apostles gave their testimony to the resurrection of the Lord Jesus. 
and great grace was upon them all. There was not a needy person among them, for as many as owned lands or houses sold them and brought the proceeds of what that was sold, they laid it at the apostles' feet, and it was distributed to each as any had need. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, His mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, His mercy endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. I was hard pressed and was falling, but the Lord helped me. My strength and my courage is the Lord, and he has been my savior. The joyful shout of victory in the tents of the just. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. A reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, everyone who believes that Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. For whatever is born of God conquers the world, and this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes that Jesus Christ is the Son of God? This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not the one with water only, but with water and with blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God.
Please stand. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. You believe in me, Thomas, because you have seen me, says the Lord. Blessed are those who have not seen me, but still believe. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. It was evening on the first day. Jesus rose from the dead the first day of the week, and the doors of the house where the disciples had met were locked for fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. After this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. When he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. If you forgive the sins of any, they are forgiven them. If you retain the sins, the sins of any, they are retained. But Thomas, who was called the twin, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples told him, we have seen the Lord. But he said to them, unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands and put my finger in the mark of the nails and my hand in his side, I will not believe. After eight days, his disciples were again in the house and Thomas was with them. Although the doors were shut, Jesus came and stood among them and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here and see my hands. Reach out your hand and put it in my side. Do not doubt, but believe. Thomas answered him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you believed because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have come to believe. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written so that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, that through believing you may have the life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Um, first of all, I'd like to take a moment and thank all of you, my family here at St. Francis of Assisi. Without your support, encouragement, friendship, and love, this community that we are, I never would have heard, much less answered, this call. I hope to show you my appreciation by living up to this call. I've answered. Also, if I can do it, Stay open yourselves. Who knows how or when the Lord will call you. In today's gospel, we feel an atmosphere of fear. It's Easter Sunday, two days after the death of Jesus. The disciples are inside the house with the doors firmly locked because they're terrified that as companions of Jesus, they too will be liable to arrest and punishment. The words of assurance they have been given earlier are all but forgotten. And then there is Jesus standing in their midst. The very fact that he can be present in spite of the locked doors indicates that he is not the same as before, that he is present in a new way. Peace be with you is his greeting. It's the normal Jewish greeting of Shalom. But coming from Jesus, the Prince of Peace to this group of frightened people it has special meaning. 
It can be taken either as a wish or a statement of fact. Where Jesus is truly present to us, there is peace. He shows them his hands and his side. He's not just a disembodied ghost, but also the same Jesus who died on the cross. And yet, there are differences. The disciples' fear is gradually transformed into an unspeakable joy at the return of their master. He continues to speak to them, repeating his greeting of peace. He proceeds to give them their mission. There's no critical word of their failure to stand with him in his final moments. As the Father sent me, so I am sending you. Then he breathed on them, the breath of life, reminiscent of God breathing on the dust of the earth and creating human life in the first person. It is also the breath of the Spirit, the Spirit of the Father and of the Son. Receive the Holy Spirit. Then comes their mission. For those whose sins you forgive, they are forgiven. For those whose sins you retain, they are retained. Is this all he gave them to do? It doesn't seem like much. What about all the other things the gospel talks about? And yet, it is all there in those words. There is no full forgiveness of sin without reconciliation. Their task is to bring about the reconciliation of all with their God, with their brothers and sisters, and with the whole of creation. This is their primary mission, for which all of their other efforts and teaching will be undertaken. To restore right relationships between God and his people and among the people themselves is a pretty big job. In practice for us, it involves a lot more than just saying words of forgiveness. It involves much more than going to confession and being absolved by a priest. It involves working to create a whole society based on right relationships with God, between people and with the rest of creation. It's the making of the kingdom of God. But if we don't accept this forgiveness and change, we block the graces of the encounter. That's a pretty big program. And of course, the mission of the original apostles is also ours. The words of Jesus spoken to them are also spoken to us. This is very well expressed in the description of the ideal Christian community we find in the first reading. The whole group of believers was united, heart and soul. This is the unity of community and fellowship. With everything they owned held in common, none of the individualistic greed and competitive that so marks our societies today prosper. Because of this, none of their members was ever in want because those who had wealth gave it to the community. It was then distributed to any members who might be in need. Can we find that today anywhere in the church? Actually, yeah. It's present in some communities of religious life when it's properly lived. But it needs to be lived more widely among all Christians. I believe that the American National Catholic Church is moving in this direction. I'm sorry, I'll be quicker. <laughs> I think this is why we are all here. And that is why we are all here. Our second reading speaks of keeping God's commandments. And the writer tells us those commandments are not difficult. They may not be our experience, and yet these commandments are only a call to be totally true to our human nature. We're not asked to do things that are not in accord with our nature or that transcend our nature. In the New Covenant, the commandments in question are those telling us to love each other as Jesus loves us, to be agents of peace, reconciliation, and justice, which ties in with the Gospel and the first reading. On this day, one apostle was missing, Thomas. When he was told that his companions had seen the Lord, he said he wouldn't believe unless he saw with his own eyes the marks of the wounds and put his hand in the wound in Jesus' side. 
<coughs> Excuse me. And then one week later, today in fact, they were all, including Thomas, gathered together in the room. Although the doors were locked, Jesus was suddenly there among them. After the usual greeting of peace, he invited Thomas not just to look, but to touch the wounds in his hand and said, do not doubt any longer, but believe. Thomas yielded completely to the experience. My Lord and my God. It is one of the most powerful acknowledgments of Jesus' real identity in the whole gospel, and the only time anyone directly calls him God. It was also an act of faith. This act of faith is Thomas's acknowledgement that Jesus is God. Thomas could not see directly that Jesus was God. No one can see God directly. But the experience convinced Thomas that he was in the presence of God himself. He no longer remained in his unbelief. He was changed by the encounter and no longer doubted. This truly was faith. The following words of Jesus are meant to encourage us, all those who have not had Thomas's experience. Happy are those who have seen and yet believe. We too need to be always open to experiences where God's unmistakable presence can be recognized. We find this every day in our lives through family, friends, the acts of charity and community that we witness. Finally, we're reminded that everything that in, is in the gospel is to help us to come to that stage of faith by which we believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief we may find life. Many, many people have tried this and found that it is altogether true. They have found in following Christ a message, a direction, and a very special quality to their lives that cannot be found anywhere else. May this also be our experience. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us profess our beliefs. We believe in the Lord God, the Father the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, the Lord that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, one God not made, one of the only Father, through him all things were made. For us and our salvation, he came down from heaven. By the power of the Spirit, was born of the Virgin Mary, and became a man. For our sake, he was crucified on Pontius Pilate. He suffered, died, and was buried. On the third day, he rose again, in fulfillment of the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken of your prophets. We believe in one Lord, we have the apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My brothers and sisters, God our Father wants to save us all. Let us raise our prayers to him now. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. For our congregation of St. Francis of Assisi, Good Shepherd Parish, Tom's River, New Jersey, the entire American National Catholic Church, Bishop George, Father Gidi, Father Pat, and all our clergy, and all who worship with us, that our faith will always come <coughs> doubt. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. That we will not be blinded by the desire for acquisition, but we will follow the example of the apostles and share our bounty with those who are in need. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. 
that all peoples may share equally in the abundance and the fruits of the earth. We pray to the Lord. That those who seek to escape hardship and violence will not be ostracized and excluded by those of us who live in comfort and safety. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those with power in our societies lead with compassion and justice, and not with pandering and divisiveness. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that the children and youth of this world find respect and safety in their homes, communities, and schools. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those among us who suffer from addiction, depression, anxiety, mental illness, or physical ailments obtain consolation and comfort. We pray for all who suffer, and particularly for those we now name. Sarah, Jimmy, Father Judy, Judy. Marianne. For those in prison, maybe just or unjust. Pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died find eternal rest in your heavenly kingdom. We pray for all who have left our world, mortal world, and particularly for those we now need. Lord, hearten their families and friends and help them accept their loss as the necessary part of their loved one's journey toward salvation. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear the prayers of our church, those we have spoken aloud and those that remain in our hearts. We ask this through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, please grant them if they are for our good. Amen. As our gifts are brought forward, let us join together in singing, We Walk by Faith, it is on the song sheet, We Walk by Faith. Walk by faith and not by sight, no gracious words we hear. Of him who spoke as none here spoke, but we believe him near. We may not touch his hands and side, nor follow where he trod. Yet in his promise we rejoice and cry, my Lord and God. Help then, O oh Lord, our unbelief, and may our faith abound to call on you when you are near and seek where you are found. That when our life of faith is done in realms of clearer light, we may behold you as you are in full and endless sight. We walk by faith and not by sight, no gracious words we hear. Of him who spoke as none here spoke, but we believe him here.
receive us and be pleased with our sacrifices. Pray, brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord, May the Lord accept, accept the sacrifice, sacrifice at your hands. hands. For the praise and glory of God's name, for our good and the good of all of God's church. Receive, Lord, the gifts of your people and of these newly born in Christ, that having confessed your name and been cleansed in the water of baptism, we may come to eternal happiness. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give God thanks and praise. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, that we should always sing your glory, Lord. But we praise you with greater joy than ever on this Easter day, for in this uh, Easter season when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. He is the true Lamb who took away the sins of the world. By dying, He destroyed our death. By rising, He restored our life. Therefore, the universe resounds with Easter joy, and the choirs of angels sing the endless hymn of your glory. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power, God of might, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, and all creation rightly gives you praise. All life, all holiness comes from you. Through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, by the working of the Holy Spirit, from age to age you gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure offering may be made to the glory of your name. And so, Lord God, on this most sacred day, we celebrate the glorious resurrection of your Son, and exulting in his mighty victory over death, we humbly pray, by the power of your Spirit, sanctify these gifts we have brought before you, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate this Eucharist. On the night he was handed over to death, he took bread and gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise gave the cup to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Calling to mind, Lord God, the death your Son endured for our salvation, his glorious resurrection and ascension into heaven, and eagerly awaiting the day of his return, 
we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look with favor on your church's offering and see the victim by whose sacrifice you were pleased to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son may be filled with his Holy Spirit and become one body, one spirit in Christ. Let him make us an everlasting gift to you that we may share in the inheritance of your saints with Mary, the Virgin Mother of God, with the apostles, the martyrs, and all your saints on whose constant intercession we rely for help. Lord, may the sacrifice which has made our peace with you advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Strengthen in faith and love your pilgrim church on earth. The patriarchs of Antioch, Alexandria, Constantinople, Jerusalem, Rome. George, our bishop, all bishops, priests, and deacons, all ministers of your church, and the entire people your son has gained for you. Merciful Father, Hear the prayers of the family you have gathered here before you, and unite to yourself all your children now scattered over the face of the earth. Welcome into your kingdom our departed brothers and sisters, and all who have left the world in your friendship. We hope to enjoy with them your everlasting glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you give the world everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. by the Savior's command and formed by the word of God, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant it a peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protected in time of trial, so as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For, for the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give to you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us share with each other a sign of Christ's peace. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Jesus, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us your peace. Lord Jesus Christ, with faith in your love and mercy, I eat your body. 
It's not any condemnation to that. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you. Only say the word, and I shall be healed. As we prepare to receive God's body and blood, let us join together in the singing of song at, number 389. At Alleluia, Francis, I'm sorry. give thanks, 389. At St. Francis of Assisi, everyone is invited to participate in the sacrament of the altar. I'm sorry, Pete. It's okay. <laughs> I said it. Alleluia, alleluia, give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia, give praise to God's name. Jesus is Lord of all the earth. He is the King of creation. Alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to God's name. Spread the good news o'er all the earth. Jesus has died and has risen. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to God's name. We have been crucified with Christ. Now we shall live forever. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Sing praise to God's name. God has proclaimed his gracious gift. Life for us all. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Give praise to God's name. Come, let us praise the living God. Joyfully sing to our Savior. Alleluia, alleluia. Give thanks to the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Sing praise to God's name. Please join us in Alleluia, Love is Alive. It appears on the sheets. It's called Alleluia, Love is Alive. People of God, see the morning is new. Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see, come and see, he is alive. 
way that is empty a promise fulfilled God who was with us is here with us still he is here he is here he is alive alleluia love is alive conquered the grave and defeated the night alleluia love is alive the sun has a reason for all People sing Alleluia. People of God, let your fear fall away. Your chains have been broken, abandoned your shame. Lift your hearts, lift your hearts. He is alive. He now is mercy, embracing your soul. Hear the fulfillment that once was foretold. It is true, it is true, he is alive. Alleluia, love is alive. Conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive. The sun has arisen for all. Your people sing Alleluia. People of God now rejoicing in Christ. Carry your joy to the darkness of night. Tell the world, tell the world, He is alive. Hear the good news of this glorious day. Every heart singing as heaven proclaims, He is Lord, He is Lord, He is alive. Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has arisen for all. Alleluia, Alleluia, love is alive, conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive, the sun has risen for all. The people sing Alleluia. Let us pray. Grant, O powerful God, that the Paschal mystery we have shared may never cease to touch our hearts with the force of its saving grace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. If you could all be seated for a minute for announcements. Where did I put the announcements? Oh, here we go. Okay, we are still gathering interest in exploring the possibility of a support group for seniors and caregivers. If you are interested in this, please contact Bishop George. I have the bishop's phone number up here, so if you need it, I'll be happy to give it to you after Mass. Mary Boehner is developing a hospitality ministry. Mary waves so everybody knows where you are. There she is over there. If you are interested in being a part of this ministry, which is so very important, uh, you know, the, the ministers of hospitality in any church uh, are the first people that are seen as they enter the church. And that really sets the tone for everything that is to follow. So I do encourage you to become involved in this ministry with Mary. The uh, next religious ed class for the children is coming up on the 29th of this month at 10. And we have the rosary on the first and third Sundays of the month. And the next one will be on April 15th. If you do have any announcements that you would like us to in include, please get them in to Father Judy on the preceding Wednesday. His email is greyes at anccmail.org. Again, if you need the, uh, the address, I have it up here if you want it. And those are the announcements. Thank you. Um, there is one other announcement. Um, Pete, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention it to you. Uh, Bishop George said, that the Easter flowers here, there, all over, should go today. And what he said was, please take them. Otherwise, we're going to basically throw them away. And as you can see, not only are they beautiful and many of them still alive, you can replant the bulbs. 
So we would ask please to take them. The only other announcement I have to make is for the folks who are here for the baptism class, you'll be meeting with me, not with Father G.D. right afterwards, okay? So, the Lord be with you. And also with you. Bow your heads for God's blessing. May the God who has redeemed you and made you adopted children through the resurrection of his only son bless you and fill you with joy. Amen. Amen. May the God who has bestowed on you the gifts of redemption and lasting freedom make you heirs of eternal life. Amen. Amen. May the God who has joined you to Christ's resurrection for faith and baptism lead you to live justly and so bring you to your home in heaven. Amen. 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 May Almighty God bless you. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. As we go forth, let us join in the song. I am the resurrection. Again, it is on the song sheet. I am the resurrection. I am the resurrection and the life. All who believe in me will never die. I am the resurrection and the life. Remember me in the breaking of the bread. If you believe, then you shall live. I am the resurrection and the life. All who believe in me will never die. I am the resurrection. Have a good week, everyone.